Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here we are impatient, grumpy. We are waiting on the rain. This is almost the middle of October. We haven't had rain for six months. And uh, it's telling. There is some weather forecast for a rain tomorrow, a little bit. Let's hope. In this area, this is the southwestern corner, the highest corner of the land. All along the fence line, we planted eucalyptus nitens, a hundred of them and only seven survived. It appears that this Hara brush does not allow these other plants to prosper. And uh, it is quite a shame, but this is how it is. This eucalyptus nitens completed its second summer and is almost three meters tall. It's a beautiful plant. I planted them to get some wood. I want to build some bridges and uh, it looks like we will not build the bridges soon. Then Suddenly, two of these survivors stopped surviving. This one about two weeks ago, that one a week ago. They just dry out, shrivel up, and they are gone. And uh, some investigation shows that there are holes of the rodents and uh, especially in the hot summer days this is the only cool-ish areas where we have watered it's also where they can find some bark to eat build their nests quite comfy and uh, the biologist who visited says they are voles part of the hamster and lemming family. They live for between two and six years and one can have up to 5,000 of them per hectare. That is a lot. The same drying out of trees happens all over the farm. So I assume the same vole family is doing their job. An em uh, enormous amount of uh, acorns. We are starting to collect some of them. We want to experiment with baking some bread from them. First we make the flour and then bake the bread. Why not? There are some survivor seedlings from last year's acorns. So that's good. I look forward that they can grow and populate the farm with these indigenous home oaks. We have some beautiful trees on this farm. What a beautiful tree. Amazing. I love it. We have only had one visit of deers this year. 
they actually nibbled on this old meth and uh, it did grow back but we also protected it and uh, this is a little bit late for watermelons but they are growing let's see we haven't had any visits from pigs this year so far and uh, the neighbor has a few new dogs that are making a lot of noise but uh, maybe they also keep the deer away so I will tolerate them and this is um, some form of wilderness area we have set aside and we made a walkway through it we want to place a few benches here place where people can sit some beautiful views from here we will not touch anything in this area except maintaining this path and uh, many other areas we will remove the cystus we understand that it does prohibit the growth of other plants lots of holes of the voles carries on for about the same distance further I'll go down here and this is our dry pond so we will remove the Hara below this pond that area over there and uh, see what we can plant there we'd love to have some sheep here but uh, i'm trying to get some dorper sheep i don't want to treat for parasites all the time let's see i have started to fine tune some of the areas where I want the water to flow our swell slash canal system here I have widened this area here heightened that embankment there because this time I want much more water to come through here than before before we had a lot of brush in here and this year it is not the case this uh, swale is not well done here because I encountered some roots of this beautiful cork oak and uh, I didn't want to damage that so the water backs up towards this area where we have this canal towards the creek here in the east nearly completed 
uh, distribution pond. It has never had water because it was in process for almost uh, nine months. We have some more stones, we'll add some more and then the water must come. I have also leveled out this area here and uh, created some embankment here for the water so that it can follow this way where sky is going now. Here in the renovated erosion gully, uh, the very green plants are the vetiver. Um, they receive some irrigation, but we also have some green uh, sorghum, Sudan grass, and I'm amazed that it's still green it looks like a very suitable crop to plant in our area i will look into it and see where we can plant it till next time till the rain goodbye